product and segment elimination decision problem one. The income statement for Orange Company is divided by its two product lines, juice and fruit, as follows. Sales revenue for juice, $640,000. Sales revenue for fruit, $298,000. For total sales revenue of $938,000. Variable costs for juice, $455,000. Variable costs for fruit, $241,000. For total variable costs of $696,000. Contribution margin for juice, $185,000. Contribution margin for fruit, $57,000. For total contribution margin of $242,000. Fixed cost for juice, $76,000. Fixed cost for fruit, $76,000. For total fixed costs of $152,000. Operating income for juice, $109,000. Operating loss for fruit, $19,000. For total operating income of $90,000. Orange Company is considering eliminating the fruit product line. If the line is eliminated, Orange Company will be able to eliminate $72,000 of total fixed costs. By how much would the business decision increase operating income? So this question is dealing with an elimination of a product line. There's two product lines, juice and fruit. And the question is asking if we eliminate the fruit product line, which currently is at a loss, and in these questions, you'll normally see a loss situation or maybe a really low income compared to the other one. If we eliminate fruit, then by how much would the decision increase or decrease operating income? Here it specifically says increase operating income. So we know it's, it's, it's leading ourselves that way. Now, product and segment elimination questions, most of the time they're pretty straightforward. You might be given the way it's presented a little bit, but you're really focusing on a few things. You're focusing on the avoidable costs, you're focusing on contribution margin foregone, and you're focusing on fixed costs as well because it's broken up in that information. That information. Now we're told that if the line is eliminated, Orange Company will be able to eliminate $72,000 of total fixed costs. Total fixed costs. And the easiest thing to do here, there's a mo many different ways to calculate this. The contribution margin from fruit, from fruit would be completely gone. You would not get that. You would not get that amount. So we can go ahead and just cross that off because you're not getting it. Cause that's, that's, that's a variable element of the fruit, the revenue. You're not going to have that. If you're getting rid of the fruit item, then that's gone. That's gone. The fixed costs, a lot of times the fixed costs of a specific segment or product will linger around for the other product to basically absorb. But here we're told that we're going to save $72,000. We're going to save $72,000 in terms of total fixed costs. So there are many different ways you can go ahead and calculate this effect. It's this question is not really too complicated. You can just go through the totals and you can add up. We eliminate the contribution margin. We reduce the fixed costs. Basically, 72,000 total fixed costs are going to be completely gone. So what happens is that 76,000 from fruit, that f only 4,000 of that gets brought over to the juice. And you can recalculate the total and compare before and after totals. And you get your change, increase or decrease um, in operating income looking at before and after. An easier way to do this is to think about the avoidable fixed costs. So we're told that fixed costs will be reduced by $72,000. So that is a savings. We take our savings minus our contribution margin that we would earn, which here is positive. It's 57,000. I know I put an X over that, but that's positive $57,000. We're going to subtract away from the avoidable fixed costs, which are our savings here, which is the big element. That's the reason why we're getting this loss on the fruit. We're going to subtract away contribution margin that we would have gotten contribution margin from the fruit item of $57,000. And that gives us a positive change or positive difference equal to $15,000, $15,000. And that is the increase in operating income. So again, and that is the answer, by the way, really quick, right? You saw how fast that was. Another way you can go ahead and calculate this is you could recalculate the total. So you have total operating income before of 90,000. You could recalculate it after by taking juice contribution margin of 185,000. That would be your new total. It'd be 185,000. And then you would have the fixed cost amount of 76,000 plus 4,000 of fruit, which would be fixed costs of 80,000. You would subtract those numbers. You would get $105,000 as your operating income. And then comparing before and after you see there's a $15,000 change.
That's another way to do this as well. You can in, you can look at it as the increase in 15,000, taking 105, 105,000 after this change, minus the 90,000 before you get $15,000. Look, 15,000, boom, 15,000. That's what I love about managerial accounting. You can get to these calculations many different ways. I try to show you the, the fastest ways to save you time and um, whatnot um, in terms of your calculation. So just keep that in mind. There's many different ways to get it. Think about what's going on here. We're told 72,000 total fixed costs have been avoided or eliminated. They're gone. So we save $72,000. However, we lose that $57,000 of contribution margin. We have to take that into account. The idea here is 72,000 though of savings is greater than the 52,000, I'm sorry, 57,000 of contribution margin that we would have gotten. So it's worth it. We save, we have more costs than we're actually bringing in. So it's worth it basically to eliminate the fruit division and it's worth it by $15,000. Our operating income will increase by $15,000.